Children, listen up. Quiet, please. You must now plant the seeds in the correct soil. Some like acid soil, others prefer alkaline. Refer to your previous notes to finish the task. So the point of that wasn't actually to plant the flower in the modern day, but just to get into the old days. And then I guess we're going to plant it in here. Try to identify the seeds and plant them in the correct soil. Okay, this sounds like fun. I'm a lot more into this than the last one. Horticulture part one, identify the seeds. Part two, plant the seeds in soil with a suitable pH level. Oh, that's cool. I love this. We're sciencing. Uh, okay. Mm, I don't know. Let's do the really easy ones, I guess. The ones that look super unique. Onion has angular seeds. Actually, hold on. Turnip has russet red. That would be this. This must be turnip. I wish the name tags on the table moved. It's weird how you go out of the window and it's not there. Feels like I haven't completed it. Uh, carrot, pointed ovals. That's got to be these. Basil, smooth teardrops. Um, that might be it. It could also be this. Can't tell the difference. I'll leave that for now. Hard, tufted, and round for the heather. Yeah, that's this. And then for wood heather, it's corn-like kernels. Uh... Oh yeah, that looks like corn kernels. So that just leaves basil and onion? Onion's the other one, right? Yeah. Okay, so teardrop versus angular. It's hard to tell. I think these are more angular. So I guess these are onion. And this is basil. Excellent. Top marks. You certainly know your onions from your turnips. It's refreshing. Haven't been having a good run at the puzzles lately, but that one was nice. So wait, do I need to like... Try to identify the seeds and plant them in the correct soil. Yeah, I needed to take some of all of them because I'm going to have to plant them. Yes. And... I need to plant them in the correct soil, which means I need to match them up. Like, for example, turnip. Turnip is going to be planted in low alkaline, and low alkaline is in soil number three. Turnip in number three. In the interest of speeding things up, I have got the alkalinity manual and also the seeds and, and what they like for a pH level on my second monitor, so we can do this a lot faster. Wood heather. 
Wood heather likes low acidity. Low acidity is soil number one. Actually, there's... Huh, there's multiple with low acidity, so I guess it doesn't matter which one. I guess? Right? I guess. Just need to make sure I don't replant in the same place. Um, let's go with soil number one for the wood heather. Next one, peat heather. Peat heather likes high acidity. And we have a high acidity with soil number five. Basil. Basil likes how high alkaline. Which is soil number six. Carrots like low acidity. So that's our second low acidity. This one's going to go in the second one that has low acidity, soil number four. Finally, onion neutral. Soil number two. Two. Right, right, children, it is time for supper. I shall join you later. I'm not looking for ghosts. I have work to do here tonight. Now go before the goulash gets cold. Tonight's the night. I shall lure her forth. Poetry, roses, and music. Lure her forth. That is the least sexiest and consenting sounding phrase ever. They've grown. Oh, I can actually take them. All of them. What am I going to do with them? Oh, I can't take all of them. One at a time, or only the onions? Shall I compare thee to a summer's eve? Lady of the Rose Garden, you beckon just... Lots of... Sappy shit. Silver ring? Too much? Too soon? A silly fancy. It was a mistake. I'm much too forward of me. We've taken it. The Darkfall needs seven souls to play. Fine produce for the school dinner. Carrots too. Onions and carrots, just going with the staples, I guess. Something for the kitchen. Matron will be pleased. Oh, that's basil? That's basil? It doesn't look anything like basil to me. Oh, 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 I think it's basil growing in amongst other things. It's the other things that are larger <laughs> than I thought was the basil. Uh, 
darkness, beauty, amber bloom, silent, closer, golden nature. Shall I compare th the... Well, that's weird. I can, like... Oh, I'm supposed to put them in the proper place. Shall I compare thee to a summer's eve? When all of... All of what? I don't actually know how this goes. <laughs> I guess I could look it up, but let's see if I can just figure it out. When all of... Nature takes time to breathe? Perhaps? When the night falls upon thy... Beauty? The golden star shines in the gloom? The water... Reflects an Azerian glow, some unseen something from the depths below. Unseen darkness from the depths below. And then the fire, petals of... Petals of... Did I already use golden? I did. Petals of amber flame? Light in the... Mm. Light in the something that feeds on your name. I fear I step ever closer. I'm just going to go back to that one later. With each gain to a something conclusion and crimson stain. Silent. Does that mean this is blue? Okay, well, they all rhyme. Eve, breathe. Below, or uh, glow, below, flame, name, gain, stain. Beauty and gloom do not rhyme, so that obviously is wrong. Bloom, gloom? Yeah, it's gotta be that. That's the only one that actually is at the end of the sentence, so that's the only one I can use that trick on. That means this is not bloom. There we go. I fixed it by looking at the text underneath each scribbled out part. You can notice like little things like uh, the D and the K in darkness stick up above the scribbled out part. So I looked for a word that had those. Tune fit for my lady. An old favorite, perhaps. which one it's supposed to be. Does it matter? I'm thinking I want to match it to the song that we heard on Steve or Bear's tape. I don't remember who it was exactly, but I don't have access to that. Poetic opportunity of word, petal, and water. Scissors. Something for the kitchen. Matron will be pleased. Maybe we can cut off a flower?
Sorry, plant. A poetic opportunity of word, petal, and water. Word. Can I pick up the poems and take them over there? Mm -mm. A poetic opportunity of word, petal, and water. More. More petals. <laughs> Basil. Onions. Okay, no. We can travel here at will, so perhaps... I need to find the right song. Or something. I'm missing something. I don't have to complete it right now. I don't know, back in this version? Should I put down some petals? <laughs> I'm going to go listen, listen to that tape. Hello? Who is that? <laughs> oh. In the intermediary world. There's this. What am I gonna do with a shitty little plastic shovel? Ah, there's more flowers to get the petals of, huh? Right, we left the horticulture world before we actually explored everything. That's what happened, because I did I just straight up did the seed things right away. Roses, music, and a gift. A band of silver to adorn her finger. She likes roses. I have often encountered their scent in the halls of Harwood, but mostly here with the other plants. I have studied her portrait many times. The colors of her favorite roses are all represented, but it is the golden yellow bloom that she holds that is dearest to her heart. I must work out the variety and find its modern ancestor. Something happened long ago. She's pitifully sad. She's bereft and lost in time. She whispers that we can be together. Okay, so in the portrait, which I think I'm pretty sure I know where that is, we can find all the colors. I must have time to think. The children have been set two tasks to keep them occupied. Why does she appear to me and me alone? I feel her presence here among the flowers, more than anywhere else at Harwood. I'm positive that it is the ghost of Lady Isabella. I recognize her beauty from the portrait that hangs in the hall. Can you fall in love with a ghost? Even now she whispers to me so. The seven, the seven. A means to find heaven. Then in the real world, in modern times, we have this. Let's go take a look at the portrait. Ah, here it is. So, they're holding the yellow flowers. Why is this so bright? Can this be less bright? I think it's better if I just don't zoom in. They're holding the yellow flowers, which we don't have. I mean, well, we have... We have this. They still need to be grown. 
I don't know if I need those before I do this puzzle or if doing this puzzle will get me those. Anyway, we have three colors. We have, well, we do have a yellowish color. Maybe that is the flower that they want. Uh, the red looks like their dress, but what about the other one? It's like a reddish, whitish thing. Where's that in the picture? Or maybe it isn't, and that's the point. It's not supposed to go in the picture. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think this really will inform anything that I do. Uh, I see the bird has some blue on them, though. Are there flowers anywhere else? I'm trying to think. Have we seen flowers in other places that I can cut? Hmm. I was actually thinking that I might be able to use the scissors on the paper or something. But then I just thought, well, what the hell? It's a bunch of stuff here. Why don't I try to shovel it? And that worked. I'm really surprised. And also, for some reason, after shoveling it, then I can take the paper. Why? Okay. Well. We have pot ash, I guess. What do I do with that exactly? Like, how do I grow this thing? Where do I plant it? In what time in the greenhouse do I plant it? I guess, hmm, since we're going through time, from older to newer, maybe we need to plant it in the oldest, or the second oldest, and then when we get to the the uh, more modern time, not present, but the most present time that isn't present, then maybe it will have grown? That'd be pretty cool. I know exactly where this goes. It must be what goes here. Remember forever ago, I'm like, hey, this has been ripped out. Demonology in Oxfordshire. The devil at Harwood House. Lord Harwood accused of murder and witchcraft in the 17th century. Some say the disgraced aristocrat and member of parliament suffered delusions following the death of his only son, Edgar Harwood. Local legend tells of devil worship, human sacrifice, and necromancy within the walls of Harwood House as the grief-stricken father attempted, through the black arts, to raise the dead child from his grave. An old poem recounted in pubs and inns across the Shire claim Harwood was successful after sightings of a wretched ghost child in the halls of the gloomy house. Hmm. Old Harwood called the devil near... On a moonlit night when the sky was clear, a deal a pact he wished to make to return a child from heaven's wake. Oh, I bet I planted here. Yes. And then when we go even more into the future, it'll be grown. That is so cool. The rose has flowered, bright golden blooms. Does the order matter? I'm guessing it does. I took a look at the walkthrough a little bit, and it looks like I'm missing quite a few colors. A poetic Not that. This. And water. A little bit hard to see that hotspot over the other one, but there's that, and then I think there's one more color that I'm missing. Oh. I never got this one, did I? Mm -mm. Okay, do I just dump them all in, or again, does the order matter? Of word, petal, and water. Don't think that mess is the right way to do them. 
Ah, okay. Another peek of the walkthrough again. The order of the colors is in the poem. Let's see if I can figure it out. The golden star, so... Gold, that would be... Orange, I suppose? Azurian glow. Azure is like blue, so orange, blue. Fire. Petals of amber flame. Amber. This would be amber, I think. Orange, blue, whitish red, and then full red. A poetic, a poetic opportunity, opportunity of word, petal, and water. Nailed it. I'm relying on the walkthrough a lot now, but I'm happy. Otherwise, I would be super frustrated if I didn't. Solution is yellow, blue, orange, red. A poetic opportunity of word, petal, and water. She appears. Now quick, to the camera. There we go, just needed the right song. Right song based on something? Music that you hear while you're reading the poetry or something? That's what the walkthrough said. She has a message. A message for me. Another lyric. Another piece of the puzzle. I shall soon be with you, my love. That's a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna go check on Jen.